Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? All right, make sure you have your safe space to practice in, non-slip floor, everything to where you're comfortable. And we'll start with feet together. Follow me, two hands pushing sky, deep breaths. Let's breathe in. Clasping the hands and breathe out. Breathe in. And relax, breathe out. Same again, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. And relax. One more time. Okay. All right. Very, very nice. Let's bring feet a little bit apart and let's move through these shoulders, shall we? Just take your time nice and slow, nice big movements. I am going to say good morning, good morning to, let me see, we'll go backwards, will we? Oh no, we can go from the top, Lynn, uh, hello, Louise, all the way at the top there. <laughs> good morning to you, and then Lynn, and Alan, and Janet, and Yola, and Ingrid is in, and Richard, and Danny, and uh, all you other guys out there, keep moving. Keep breathing, feel the space. Let's take this movement. I'm going to bring it into the body and I want you to feel a roll through the spine as you do it. And then we push back up and we breathe out. Drop to the feet, rolling through. Nothing too vigorous. Let the tailbone drop as you push back up and then we soften back down. So we push through the feet, roll up through the spine, breathe out. Let's do one more. Okay, good. We're going to roll through these shoulders in the other direction. And feeling the movement through the rib cage. So it's not just the shoulders. Try and have a sense of opening and closing. Good morning also to Alison. Hello. And to Joyce too. Good morning. All right, good. Let's take this movement dropping down and roll. Breathing out. And again, the movement through the spine. So we roll the spine and then we push tail down, rolling up and sink. Try and stay over your feet the whole time though. We keep our center of gravity over the feet. One more. Okay, all right, very, very nice. We'll do our balancing of plates, shall we? Let's take the right hand behind the back and we'll do a nice big sweep all the way around 
Coming in, same with the other hand. Coming around, nice and open again through the body. Gently shifting the weights. Making sure we keep breathing, we're not holding our breath at any point. Okay, let's go the other way, forward and out. Really soft through the body. Keep the weight sinking down all the way to the ground. Okay, let's move two hands at the same time then, shall we? Let's bring them around. Coming back, again, just nice and open. All right, let's go the other way, forward, out and around. Okay. All right, very nice, good. Let's have a little jiggle. We're going to have a wiggle through these fingers, just just wiggling, okay? Feel all of these fingers, nice and soft, nice and loose. And we're gonna have a little jiggle through the wrists. Try and feel how much movement that you can do through here, okay? But loose. And then we're gonna do the same with the elbows. <laughs> and then the shoulders. And allow this movement for the shoulders to come into the neck. Keep the head tall. We're not doing anything vigorous here. Bit of a gentle motion, a gentle stretch around. Okay. And then we're going to move down through the neck. So we want to come to this area here at the base of the neck and get the shoulders a little bit involved with that as well. See if you can feel the movement going. Let's run down through the length of the spine. So we have all of these, uh, all of these bits and pieces joining together all the way down like a snake. And then down to the hips. Okay, one leg all the way down and the other leg all the way down. Good. We're going to stand with the feet fairly wide. All right, we're going to sit down through this and we're going to move the weight from side to side. So we see that we are keeping the height the same as we shift. Okay, let the weight sink. And we want to be really soft and open through these hip joints. Let the weight sink down. And feel the feet on the floor. See if we can feel the pressure through the ankles as we move. Pressure on one side, pressure on the other side. Okay, and we're going to come across to one side and turn the foot up and out, lifting these toes back, getting as much of a stretch through here as you can. And then we bring the toes back, we'll come across. Coming up and back, and then relax. Smoothly shifting over, up and back, and over. Up and back. Let's just do one more each side. 
feeling that stretch, letting it go. And again. Okay, let's bring the feet in. We're going to come up nice and soft. Let's stand for a moment, really bringing the awareness to ourselves. So if you bring your feet underneath the hip joints. Okay. Let's bring our awareness to our feet. Deep breath, relax. Let's observe the pressure of the floor against the foot. We're going to breathe some nice deep breaths. And as you breathe, really try and soften through the feet. As the weight sinks through the feet, it's almost as though the feet are spreading out against the floor. But we keep the arches of the feet light, really light, lifting. And feel this lifting moving up. Feel the space opening up through the ankles. Moving up through the lengths of the legs, we keep the knees soft. And open through the hips. And feel the pelvis and the tail hang as we lift and open through the length of the spine. Let the shoulder blades hang either side as we lift between the shoulder blades. Long through the neck. Tall through the top of the crown. Let's take a deep breath, breathing in, keeping the head nice and tall, the shoulders open, breathing out, feel the weight of the body just melting inside your structure, sinking down. Again, feeling the feet on the ground. We're going to breathe deep breaths into the belly. So as you breathe in, feel the breath drawn down. Let the belly expand, filling with breath. As you breathe out, we're letting go. Okay, let's clasp the hands. We're going to slowly raise these hands overhead, just rotating through the shoulders. Feeling again the shoulder blades themselves sinking down as you raise the hands up. Keep a nice alignment with the neck. Tall with the head. We'll turn the palms up. Breathing in, let's push up with the hands, down with the feet. Breathing out, relax through the body.
And we're going to twist, coiling from the ground up. And we'll come back to your center line and twist. And coming back. Okay, we're going to lift and extend across. And then again, just letting go. Soft through the neck, soft through the shoulders. Coming back. Lift, reach, extend. And again, letting go. Okay. Let's come back. And release. Nice and soft through the whole body. Breathing deep breaths. Okay. All right, very good. So let's bring the feet just that little bit wider. We're going to come around. Gently tapping as you go. Nice and free through these arms. Okay, we're going to come out on the heel. Keep the knees soft. Coming in on the toe. Okay, very good, very nice. All right, grab your water, your coffee, <laughs> whatever you've got going. Uh, today's movements though, because we, we, we have this really interesting uh, thing at the moment, it's very, very definitely autumn. And being autumn, we should be concerning ourselves with the lungs. But really, we're still coming into autumn. We can still feel how mild it can be outside. And then sometimes it just gets very, very damp. Sometimes it gets very windy and we see the leaves just blowing around all over the place, which is nice. Um, but being damp and still having this changeable weather, although we're coming into the season of trying to work our lungs, the damp uh, and the spleen don't get along and it's very damp outside. And so we still have to be conscious of our spleen, keep our digestive system fortified whilst we're still preparing for the cooler months coming and all of this kind of thing. So we're going to do a movement today for the spleen, spleen and stomach. Um, this one, again, just because uh, over here we did this fairly recently with Professor Hu Xiaofei when he came over. This is a movement from the Bad Wan Jin. But it still has, <clears throat> because it's still a Dao Yin exercise, we still have this expanding and stretching and releasing that goes into this movement. You can feel how it works also through the lungs when we do this 
which is quite nice. It's fairly simple to do, which is always good too, but pretty effective. So as with many of these things, uh, we'll be taking a little step with it. You know, we'll do some movements on one side and then we'll go to the other side. But there's not an awful lot going on with the feet themselves. The movement, when we get to it, is going to start from this rounded position here. And it's round as though your arms are cupping around something fairly heavy, okay? We're not out in front, we're down with this. And we have this nice round shape with the arms. Now, if you can feel this with the arms, we try to feel here that the rib cage is slightly sunk, okay? And not only is the rib cage slightly sunk, because we're not upright, not up here, we also want to have the knees bent that little bit. So we have a sense of the front of the body coming in, softening, sinking down. Okay? Now, from here, the left arm is going to roll up. The right hand is going to roll down and we're going to push the legs down. And we have this extension. Okay, so the top arm, feel this openness through the rib cage all the way up and around. Now the arm is bent, okay? you're not straightening the arm so that you can feel this expansion up and out sideways here as well. And the bottom hand pushing down and the fingers are slightly forward, slightly rounded into the hip, okay? From here, we are going to let go and release and we start to drop down and the arms come back to here. Okay, fairly uh, straightforward. The spleen, what is the spleen, says Ingrid. The spleen is an organ that is associated with the spleen, stomach and pancreas, three organs within uh, the body, if you have your liver on one side, underneath the diaphragm, the liver is the big organ here, spleen, stomach, and pancreas on this side. Now the association is uh, the yin and yang with, uh, along with the stomach. So we, we understand the stomach, we eat, and the stomach uh, receives the, the food. The stomach is the yang organ, the associated organ with that is the spleen. And the spleen, it's kind of about the size of your fist, a bit smaller maybe on, on the, the side here. Very, very important for the immune system. The channels run the full length of the body, okay? Up and down through the full length of the body. The muscle tendon lines run through the rib cage and underneath the uh, the shoulder blades here as well. So when we do this movement on the other side and we bring this hand, one hand up, one hand down, try to feel the stretch through the rib cage. Try to feel this uh, expanding and movement underneath the collarbone, at uh, the collarbone, that's on that side, the shoulder blade rather, at the back. Okay, so again, expanding and then releasing. Now, like I said, these channels also run through the legs. So if you push into the ground and straighten the legs, as we are just gonna change from side to side, feel the muscles in the legs work, and then we relax, release and allow the pelvis to drop. So the spleen and stomach are also associated with autumn or early autumn, late summer. Um, it's the earth element. Expand, 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 and release. Now remember, don't straighten the arms. You're pushing more through the wrists and the palms. So if you come through, the heel of the hands and the wrist are pushing up and out and down and back. 
and then we let go. Okay, relax, soft, let these arms hang in front of you and we'll go again to the other side. Expand, expand, expand and then release. Okay, relax the arms for a moment. Actually, just give yourself a little shake through. Um, so because these channels run through the full length of the front of the body here and through the legs, feel what's going on with the body, like I said, right the way from the ground. So the spleen channel starts at uh, the toes, the stomach ch channel ends in the toes. So if we can push the feet into the floor and stretch and feel the stretch all the way through to the top of the crown, and then release, drop the pelvis. You feel that stretch and then that softening through the whole body, okay? All the way to the ground. So it's not just the arms doing this. The arms are doing all the big movements, but there's a lot going on with everything else as well. And observe yourself when you drop. When you drop the body, when you let go of the stretch, keep the torso upright, okay? Let the pelvis support the torso. So we're not doing this, we're not doing this. You don't need to go terribly far either, okay? So let's do this as though uh, we're, we're doing this in our routine. We're going to take a step to the left and we step out and then we come straight into this stretch and we breathe in, we breathe out. Other side, breathing in, breathing out. So that's become a count of four, five, breathe in, Six, breathe out, relax the body, stay upright. Seven, breathe in, stretch. On eight, we're going to come back. Then we do the same thing on the other side, okay? So stepping to the right, second count, breathing in. So if you step to the right, the right arm's going to go up. Two, Breathing out, three, it's almost like you're pulling something apart. And four, coming back. We also get this nice cross connection through the body, right? So one hand up, one hand down. We can feel this across this way. And back, six. Last one on this side, seven, breathing in and release, eight, breathing out, back to here. Okay, so we're going to do this to four counts of eight. We'll do bunch on the left, bunch on the right, left, then right again before we close up. Okay, so let's just take a little moment. We're going to stand with the feet together. Bring our awareness to ourselves. Everything just get nice, relaxed. Feel the feet on the floor. Really bringing the mind into the body. Relax, release, feel the space. Feel the breath in the belly. And we relax. Bring the arms around. One. Breathe in. Two. Breathe out. Three. 
three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two, breathe in, two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, three, breathe in, two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, four, breathe in, two, breathe out. Four, five, six, seven. Eight circles to the belly, breathing in, breathe out, Okay, let's bring the palms to rest, low on the belly. Again, just taking some nice deep breaths.
Okay. Very nice. Very good. That's such a good stretch for a Monday morning as well, I think. That is us for this morning. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Look after yourselves. Let's take a left thumb. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.